Greco Trinity 16, Thursday, Getting Ready for Pentecost. I will pour my spirit on your seed and my blessing on your offspring. Isaiah 44, verse 3b. Dear Redeemed, the Son of God is the fountain of living water that flows forth, giving good gifts for the welfare and benefit of His Church. In addition, He will pour out the Holy Spirit on the spiritual descendants of the faithful for the proclaiming of the Word to the world. The prophet Joel spoke of a future pouring out of the Holy Spirit when he wrote, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh, your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. At the Feast of Tabernacles, or Booths, Jesus spoke about that great day. But this he spoke concerning the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive. For the Spirit had not yet been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. John 7, verse 39. People who believe in Christ do so because the Holy Spirit has worked faith in their hearts through the word of the gospel. Thus, the Holy Spirit was given to Adam and Eve, Peter and Andrew, you and me. What Jesus was referring to in today's text is the giving of the Holy Spirit for a special work of the church, of speaking the good news of salvation, eternal life, and forgiveness to others in other languages. This would be fulfilled on Pentecost, when the apostles were given the Holy Spirit and enabled to speak the gospel in foreign languages. Jesus told of that coming day. The disciples were not yet ready for it. They had more doctrine to learn, much more practice, learning by listening, struggling to properly distinguish and apply law and gospel. The day would come. It would be after Jesus was glorified. That is, it would be after his hour had come, and he would be betrayed, beaten, scourged, crucified. It would be after Jesus had died for the sins of the world and satisfied the wrath of God. It would be after his Sabbath day rest in the tomb and his eighth day resurrection on Easter morning. It would be after his ascension. Then he would give the Holy Spirit on the fiftieth day after his rising from the dead, on the day of Pentecost. Then many, in their own languages, would hear about Jesus, the Savior of the world. Prayer O Lord God, Heavenly Father, who by the blessed light of your divine word has led us to the knowledge of your Son, I most heartily beg you so to replenish us with the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may ever walk in the light of your truth, and, rejoicing with sure confidence in Christ our Savior, may, in the end, be brought into everlasting paradise. May this gospel go forth and be a blessing upon our offspring and upon generations unborn. Bless especially the work of Bible translators. Amen. Hymn number 247, stanzas 3 and 5. Thou fountain whence all wisdom flows, which God on pious hearts bestows, grant us thy consolation that in our pure faith's unity we faithful witnesses may be of grace that brings salvation. Hear us, cheer us, by thy teaching, let our preaching and our labor praise thee, Lord, and bless our neighbor. Thy heavenly strength sustain our heart, that we may act the valiant part with thee as our reliance. Be thou our refuge and our shield, that we may never quit the field bidding all foes defiance, descend, defend from all errors and earth's terrors, thy salvation be our constant consolation.